Hello everyone, it's Rad from Rad Kutsarot and within this uh, old video um, you're gonna hear the forecast for your star sign for the upcoming week which is a August 24th to a August 30th, a 2020. For those who are new to Tarot, uh, Tarot is all about knowledge. It's about the knowledge of the universe and how you interpret that knowledge. So if you do like the way I read the Tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, I am offering you a Tarot classes and uh, how to participate into them, you can find a link down below in the description of this video just so you know by purchasing a tarot class it also includes a, a certain amount of personal coaching with me as well when you do finish uh, the, the, the recorded class okay, and you do have the hang of it already you can address me with whatever questions you think I have not covered up there or simply you can use that time to uh, practice your reading skills, uh, reading skills with me uh, the other thing is, is that if you do want a personal reading, you can go to my website, which link you are going to find in the description down below as well. And there at the very front page, you're going to see full list of my services as well, their pricing. And as soon as you place a, a purchase, <clears throat> I'm going to come back to you within 24 hours via email to give you details how the reading is going to take place. So if you haven't received the email in your inbox, make sure you do check your spam or junk folder as well. So with that being said, just lay back and uh, enjoy the show. All right, so uh, that will be Taurus and Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising, uh, general reading for the upcoming week. And just give me a second to uh, shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we are to jump uh, right into it. Right, so the first one for you, that is going to be the Chariot. Uh, moving next, we do have the Temperance, followed by uh, the Six of Swords, and the last one, that is going to be the Lovers. Those four. Uh, that's pretty scattered. I mean, as a, uh, as a reading. So uh, let's keep it simple. So what the week is all about, it is you pretty much harnessing the, uh, the look of your hard work, if, we, if I can express it that way, and receiving the appropriate recognition. I mean, you are going to be really proud of uh, whatever you came up with or whatever you were able to manifest throughout the week, either in terms of career or either in terms of a relationship. But there are a few conditions uh, for you, so that may uh, happen. Now, the first condition is um, no compromise with yourself whatsoever, especially when it comes to opinion, especially when it comes to uh, a way how you are to push your things uh, moving forward. Now, the whole week itself is going to be dappled with chores. And this is one of those situations where you have to uh, choose in between dealing with the chores or dealing with the things that actually are gonna prove um, fertile and thriving for your life. Again, either in terms of career or either in terms of relationship. And you have to set the chores away for now or leave them uh, on the bench so you can attend to the really productive stuff that you can uh, that you can jump into, which will be heavily criticized, just so you know. I mean, it's not gonna be um, handled very well by your boss, by your, uh, say, partner in, uh, in relationship, husband or wife, even family as well. But, uh, and that will kind of like put you in a state where you will almost, and I'm saying almost, have to choose in between one thing or another, no different than if you do this, we are done, okay? Some kind of an ultimatum like that. And this is going to place you on a certain, say, threshold, okay? That you will be quite hesitant to traverse. Although traversing the threshold is going to severely improve your circumstances, either career-wise or either, or either relationship-wise. So it's kind of like, um, pouring from the chores aspect into the productive aspect, okay? And you have to choose very carefully. 
Now, regardless of how the week is going to go on there, because uh, for what we can see here from the spread itself, it is that you are going to kind of uh, sacrifice, and I, I think that that is the proper word I should use here, sacrifice relationship harmony for sake of your own personal progress, because with the chariot, it is all about you. It's not about your career, it's not about your relationship, or not, not your career, your career is something personal, your job. It is not about your job, it's not about your relationship, but it is about your career and it is about your love, right? Which is two different stuff. So relationship and love, sometimes they don't go hand to hand together, okay? Nor career and job. So it's about the personal agenda or it's about the personal drive rather than the, uh, rather than the eventful eventful or enterprising move forward or a, a, a drive and that itself like said may cause a lack or disruption of the harmony within your communication and within your uh, relationships in general not just only a intimate one but also a professional one friendships and etc etc but ultimately, at the end, those uh, relationships normalize and they're going to get back into harmony. And literally, it is how the week pretty much ends for you. From there, what happens with your growth and with your improvement, it will be within your hands because the chariot operates um, on a base of a personal drive and personal determination. But above everything else, the iron will to push forward. Uh, because the chariot is associated with a, uh, a colossal, not just only mighty, but a colossal effort, often working or standing against the odds, being able to prevail because you are a, uh, uh, not just only determined, but also what is the word here? Um, I just jump out of my head. You do have, oh my God, I just can't figure it out. So I'll try to explain it that way. Uh, you know you can do it, okay? Just, you know you can do it. Yeah, right now the situation looks dire, but you know you can pull it through. You know that you can pull it off and that's why you do not give up. So it's like a, uh, <coughs> yeah, being convinced that you can do it. I'm sorry, I just jump, the, the word jumps, jump out of my head. And um, pretty much uh, your success will, depends on, will depend on that, the success of the enterprises that you do start uh, throughout this particular week. Now, on the, uh, at the end, I'm going to finish with a couple of uh, um, uh, guidances, okay? Now, the first guidance is, is that you need to know that pretty much uh, fear uh, rots one's soul. That is something I like to say. And the only thing that usually deprives one from happiness and deprives one from a success is fear. So no fear has a place within the week with you. Fear of being denied, fear of being uh, left alone, fear of being laid off and etc. etc. That should not be a, a factor in the actions that you are to undertake. And the other, uh, which seems a little bit unrelated, but it is very related here, it is that a uh, premature, emo uh, premature actions out of emotions are going to breed uh, rather remarkable results, like premature establishment of relationships, pre uh, relationship premature proposal for an engagement, premature uh, decision to have a child, Every, anything premature that it is formed by emotion, it seems that it will work out very well for you. So that being said, uh, Taurus, this was your a weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it. And uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.